what else was there? Okay, lines. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, actually this is not fair. Uh, lines, uh, line colors you're going to set with uh, this, uh, uh, this different color thing. Uh, to set the size of the, uh, the size of the stroke, you're going to use these guys. They're in points, uh, which is kind of a weird unit, uh, but it'll seem kind of obvious. Um, sometimes you can't see the difference between, say, 0.5 points or one point, uh, so you just want to zoom in to actually see what it is. Now, to modify the way that the line works, uh, you want to use window and stroke. Um, so. St Stroke is another word for a line, <laughs> apparently, in, in, math li in uh, illustrator's parlance. Uh, so for example, this stroke, you see you uh, have kind of roundish corners, right? You see that? That's uh, the so-called uh, meter, which determines, well, this, you can set butt cap, round cap, projecting cap, or round join, or bevel join, or meter join. Right? You set all of these guys, and that's going to affect the way that lines are, are put together. You can also affect the way that the lines are ending. So if I create a line like so, uh, so you see now the line uh, finishes like straight, right? But I can select, for example, a round cap, projecting cap. Uh, although that seems kind of completely useless. It, it is sometimes quite useful uh, in some circumstances. Like, for example, uh, this guy, once I made it, uh, I made this guy um, a lot larger. And see what happens here? And it's kind of weird, eh? So uh, by messing around with these little guys, you can get different effects. So sometimes just by clicking here, you'll solve this issue with we out over here, right? That's doing something weird. Um, now, oh right. So if you want to create a dashed line now, so sometimes that use that's actually quite useful in diagrams. Um, again, it's in the stroke thing. Uh, so sometimes you won't actually see this. So just just click this little thing right here. Right, to make the palette like, as large as possible. And you select dash line. And you're going to be able to select dashes and gaps. Uh, so you can se so depending on what you want exactly, uh, you can set, for example, the dash. So now the dash is at 0.5, which means like a very, very small, and then a very large gap. But I can invert that uh, to say like this 10 points and one point. So it's going to make like this sort of line. And if you want, you can even have like dash that. So you can have 10, 2, and then uh, let's say 5, 7, dot dash. Right? And then you can remove that if you prefer. You can just set it to, z I think you can just set it to 0. And then I'll solve it. There you go. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it uh, for lines. Now, one also very useful thing that you're going to need in diagrams is to create arrows. Um, so to create an arrow, you want to use the filter tool. Or actually, I, uh, yes, it is filter. And stylize and add arrowheads. Okay. So uh, one thing that you need to worry about with this tool is that it'll scale the size of the arrowhead with uh, the size of the line. So if the line is 12 points large, this arrowhead is going to be humongous, like so. However, if the line is small, like so, it's a small stroke, I apply add arrowheads, and now my arrowhead is small. Uh, you can click filter, and instead of, uh, so the last filter that you're going to use is going to pop up in the top two things. So there's going to be apply, and then there's going to be add arrowheads, which is going to show you the whole thing. And if you want, you can change um, the exact type of line, and you can put uh, these things uh, at the beginning, at the end, and change the scale of these things, for example, like so. 
that. <laughs> that makes sense. Can you go back to that uh, window? Because yep. uh, I'm not sure that you just, like you saw correctly. Um, what's the what's the, the the scale is uh, for for the start and the end uh, are uh, specified uh, separately. No, it's the same scale. So. But okay, it's uh, just, it's just it's I just selected a different, a different one. If, okay. if I had selected uh, yeah, yeah. two of the All same, right. good, good. then no, I would have gotten this. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so here's a again. This is this is one uh, great example of where you have to be careful with strokes, uh, scale, strokes, and effects because that can that that will mess up the uh, your arrow. So for example, if you don't set it like so. You know the 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 ratio of the size of the head versus the size of the line is going to be different in the end, which is going to be quite annoying. Uh, there's also the possibility of yeah, yeah no that's pretty much it. Um, so that's how we had arrowheads. Now uh, if you want you can ungroup because it actually like creates like a kind of a magic uh, blob of both a line and the arrowhead to like take out the arrowhead for example all right so now we're on to text so text is kind of a mess in, uh, in <laughs> illustrator um, so again illustrator is made for uh, guess what illustrators actually I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna start again with the text thing.